in this problem, we've got a um, ratio, a unit ratio right here, which is that for every one liter, that equals 1,000 milliliters, which of course means that the milliliter is 1 1,000th one of a liter. So if I had one milliliter, one tiny little milliliter, that would be um, one one thousandth or point zero zero, right? That's ten hundredths, like one thousandth of a liter. And all here I'm doing is dividing by, oops, dividing by a thousand to get one milliliter because a thousand divided by itself is one, and then one liter divided by a thousand will give us point zero zero one of a liter. And all I'm doing there is, if you think about dividing by a thousand, it's like dividing by ten three times. So it's ten, ten, ten. It's one one thousandth of a liter. And that'll help us out in this problem because what it says is, Jose fills his fish tank with water. The tank holds 250 liters of water. How many milliliters does the tank hold? Oh, well, I guess this is not uh, extremely helpful in this problem. This would be helpful if we had less than one liter which we kind of have going here, because, but not really, but so, sorry. What'll help us is this first ratio. So for every one liter, we have a thousand milliliters. So if we have 250 liters, a new ratio, how many milliliters is that? And we could just look at, well, here's one, here's 250. So now, whatever number we have here, it should be 250 times bigger than 1,000 because we have a proportional relationship. This 250 is 250 times bigger than one, and the same thing on the right side. So this is 250,000 milliliters. And that's the answer, it's D. And that makes sense because we need a lot of milliliters for every one liter. So we should have a much larger amount of milliliters here. All right, hope that helps.